The historical narrative of the Wild West, often steeped in myths and stereotypes, unravels to reveal a justice system more complex and disquieting than the cinematic depictions of Clint Eastwood might suggest. Amid the influx of individuals seeking new lives and communities on the frontier, the West grappled with a level of violence surpassing even the body count in a classic Eastwood movie. In stark contrast to the portrayal of grim yet noble law and order, the reality of justice in the Wild West was characterized by a multitude of challenges stemming from limited resources and extreme isolation. The Wild West, immortalized in films, conjures images of daring escapes, high noon shootouts, and a cinematic Will Smith. However, the actuality was far less heroic. Homicide rates in the West riveled those of the American South during the tumultuous periods of the Civil War and Reconstruction. For instance, an adult residing in Dodge City, Kansas, between 1876 and 1885 faced a 1 in 61 chance of falling victim to violence, a stark contrast to the 1 in 200 average for homicide victims in the entire United States in 2015. This disparity highlights the pervasive and heightened risks faced by those navigating the frontier conditions of the Wild West. Compounding the challenges, the aftermath of the Civil War contributed to an escalation of violence. Displaced and disillusioned former soldiers, armed with military-honed gun skills, ventured westward in search of opportunities. The West became a terrain where disputes were frequently settled with bullets exacerbating an already precarious situation. The lingering animosity between Union and Confederate soldiers further fueled the prevalence of violent confrontations, epitomized by the fatal shootout between Wild Bill Hickok, a Union veteran, and Dave Tutt, a Confederate veteran. The Wild West's justice system, strained by weak political organization and limited resources, struggled to cope with the rising crime rates, leaving many offenses unaddressed. Vigilantism emerged as a response to the inadequacies of the legal system. While romanticized in contemporary accounts, vigilante justice in the Wild West was often brutal and fueled by public anger. In cases where vigilantes took matters into their own hands, physical abuse and gruesome trophies became disturbing hallmarks of their pursuit of justice. The biases inherent in vigilante justice manifested prominently, with indigenous, Hispanic, and Chinese Americans often targeted. Instances like the 1878 hanging of Native American Juan La Cruz underscored the impact of racism on the vigilante ethos. Private agencies like the Pinkerton Detectives, functioning as bounty hunters, sought to address the challenges posed by notorious offenders. However, their methods were not without controversy, as exemplified by a tragic raid on Jesse James's mother's house that resulted in the death of James's eight-year-old half-brother and severe injuries to his mother. The Pinkertons' recklessness generated public outrage, underscoring the ethical dilemmas associated with private enforcement. San Francisco's experience with vigilance committees further exposes the pitfalls of vigilante justice. In response to the actions of James Casey, an Irish Catholic politician accused of murder, a second vigilance committee formed, highlighting personal biases and power struggles rather than a commitment to law and order. The West's legitimate lawmen, often unpaid and reliant on fines or bounties, face challenges maintaining order. Instances of corruption, such as Sheriff David Allison's misappropriation of funds and lawmen turning to crime themselves, as seen in Deputy Sheriff Henry Newton Brown's bank robbery, added to the complexity of the justice system. The Old West's pervasive gun culture also posed significant challenges to law enforcement. Attempts at gun control, exemplified by towns like Tombstone and Dodge City, were often met with resistance, leading to violent confrontations. The famed 1881 shootout at the OK Corral triggered by a refusal to surrender firearms, exemplifies how gun control measures often ended in bloodshed. The Wild West, often romanticized for its rugged individualism and notions of justice, unveils a more nuanced reality. The justice system's struggles, rife with violence, vigilantism, and biases, paint a complex portrait of a society grappling with law and order amid the harsh conditions of the frontier.
The mythic Wild West, as portrayed in movies, belies the unsettling truths of a historical era marked by a justice system worse than conventional narratives might suggest. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel.